this is the second installment of the best of Richard Powers and more. Most of the things that we did are things that Richard taught in his most recent workshops here in, I think it was the end of April. So we started with long grapevines. Long grapevines make a great variation one way or the other. Um, it's a full set of grapevines leading with an inside turn on six. They look like this with a basic on top. And a one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. A oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. A oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are the three long grapevines. All right. Then we went off into roll reversal. And we did a whole bunch of different variations. My recommendation socially, the easy one, Richard didn't teach it, although I learned, learned it from him a number of years ago, looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I simply step across. Four, five, six. Claire is now leading. She's going to pass it back. And then we also have the waist slide out of the University of Texas, I believe. And she takes the lead. And we had a tuck and turn. A tuck, a turn, I offer my hand, and she takes the lead. Notice the waist slide. <laughs> and thank you, dear. <laughs> okay, and then. We had a variation that came out of Kentucky, and I believe it's Paul, and I'm forgetting the other name. It might be Linda, but anyway, um, it's on YouTube, and I thought it was great because it changed the feet, and it also set it up so that she was leading on count one with the normal lead foot. It looked like this. It had a canter pivot built in. So basic on top, one, Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> You're not going to leave that one. We'll do it again. And we'll stop. And a one, two, three, four, five, and a one, two, three. I offer the hand, and we change. And we'll change it back, and we'll change the feet with a stop and go. They're handy, and we use them a lot when you need to change the downbeat. <laughs> All right, and then we also played a little bit with the box. Now around here, sort of the, the general social consciousness is don't go with the box. But the nice point of the box is that if you're someplace where the conditions are crowded, maybe you're dancing with somebody who doesn't know cross step but you can use your crusted variations. So we start off with just a basic box. One, two, three, four, five, six. We push off, and we push off the other way. And it has a tendency to want to go left. And then we had a couple of variations. The first one was a nice, easy follow upside turn, and we discovered we actually liked it better on one, but you can do it on four, and it looked like this. One, Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But you can also lead it on count one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we had all the variations that we know in our cross step. And those work really nicely in between. What we do is we want to use our basic twinkle to get in and sometimes to get out. Twinkle looks like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. But we can use our twinkle to get into the cross step variations. So the first one we did was a tuck and turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're back in the box. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Two, three, bring her back. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And there's the second half of the twinkle. 
two, three, four, five, six. And then we also did, I believe our favorite one. Oh, we didn't do the roll away. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have to do that. Okay, we have to do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the last one was a pivot loop. I think that's our favorite. <laughs> Looks like this. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we can leave it up four. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And she falls back. And that's the easiest place to have her go back. We'll do it one more time. Looks like this. And a one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And a one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's it. Thanks, everybody. And you'll be able to find that on YouTube.